brand new vlog. As you can see by the title of this video, this is our bathroom renovation reveal. Finally, we have finished updating this bathroom. We really wanted to get this done this weekend and I have just literally finished the final touches. You would have seen in the last clip of me painting this corner and the paint is actually still wet as we talk. But I just filmed all the clips of the bathroom to slot in here, but before I just wanted to hop on and say hi. After I reveal this bathroom, I did want to just sit down and run through things that we had purchased, how much things cost. That way, if this is something that you want to do in your own home or you're inspired to do something similar, you kind of get an idea of how much everything costs. The only things that we haven't really done in the bathroom is I have kind of left the decor as is. Something I just want to do over time. I don't want to be really rush to get all these decor items just to put it in a video. So I do want to zhuzh up the bookshelves at some point. Those baskets are obviously new. Uh, and then also new bath mats. I'm still not really sure what I want. So I just want to leave it for a little bit and sit on that and see what we want to do. And then also we left the silver shower head faucet and bathtub faucet. We are gonna be changing those to gold. I just need to shop around a little bit more and find the ones that we want. But without further ado, here is our new bathroom. our bathroom. I am so excited to finally have it finished. I love the way that it turned out. It really turned out exactly how I had envisioned it to turn out. We've been living in this house for three years now and that bathroom has always been a what do I do with this space type of room. So it's really nice to finally see it all come together after playing it out and envisioning it in our heads. As promised, I did want to quickly run through the cost of some of the items that I had purchased for this project, kind of give you an idea of how much it cost. As I do that, I'm gonna include the item that I purchased as well as a dupe or similar cost item or similar looking item just to be able to show two different costs and then that way if you're ever thinking about doing a project like this or purchasing some of the same items that I purchased, I will leave all the links below. So I wrote everything down so I don't miss anything. Let me lower my brightness. So to start off with, we have my wavy mirror that I purchased from Shades of Light. That is a really beautiful, unique mirror. It has a wood wavy frame around it, and I bought that online at Shades of Light for $198. It was really hard to find something that was similar at a lower cost. I did find one similar from Home Depot, which was $10 less at $189. So like I said, I'll leave all this information below as well. Then my wallpaper was probably one of the most expensive pieces of wallpaper I've ever purchased. It was something I fell across on Pinterest and that was the start of the envision of the wall of the bathroom. So I really wanted to get this wallpaper that I had found. I couldn't really find anything similar that I really loved. So I bought my wallpaper from House of Hackney. You can also purchase it on Anthropology if you live in the US. For that wallpaper, it costs $325. I did find a dupe similar, not exactly the same, but kind of similar from Milton and Keene, and that is their Garden State mural wallpaper, and that I found at about half price at $165. So that space didn't really need too much wallpaper. I did end up having to buy a little bit more than I needed just because of the way I had to cut in on the bookshelves. Ran out of a little bit of wallpaper in terms of matching up the pattern. But if you don't really have that and you kind of just using one plain wall, you should be okay with just one roll. 
As for my shower curtain, I got that blue linen from West Elm. They were doing a sale and I got that linen curtain for $89. I believe you can probably find similar on Amazon with a linen blend or linen type material, but that's easy to dupe or duplicate. Then I bought our sconce lighting. So that's the gold light that's above the mirror in the bathroom. Again, I also got that from West Elm. It was on sale for $99. I shopped around for a while, as you probably would have seen in my recent or my past vlogs about the bathroom. Couldn't really find anything that I loved. There's a ton of good options in like Lowe's, Home Depot, even on like Wayfair and Target. I felt like $99 for a light was a pretty good option, but I'll share some similar options here from those stores I mentioned. Then I also have that cafe curtain. So I actually added that last night. I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep that or change it up, but for right now it works in the space. And that is just a linen-like material. I got it on Amazon for $14. I will look at maybe upgrading that to a different material or a different color. We'll kind of see how it goes. I'm just gonna let it sit in the room for a little bit. The gold faucet and the gold hardware. So gold hardware in terms of the toilet roll holder and then the hand towel holder. I got all of those from Amazon. So the toilet roll holder and the hand towel hole, hand towel holder <laughs> I got on Amazon as a pair for $29 and then the gold faucet that you would have seen as well I bought that on Amazon for $57 now I already had a few items already in the bathroom before I started this project so I had my three tier gold basket which you would have seen next to the green stool that I had painted those three baskets I got from Anthropology. I need to dig a little bit deeper and see how much they are because I'm not sure if they sell them in gold anymore I saw them on their website for black in black already had those items i also already had the gold handles on the bathroom cabinets those were existing there already so they worked really well with the green and then what else did i have that already oh yes and then i already had the shower rod all i did was add the gold hooks and those i think were like 9.99 as well i got those online some additional items that I purchased that you don't necessarily need to purchase when you're doing a project like this is we put in a new granite slab into that bathroom. If you've watched the previous vlogs, you would have seen that the previous granite was like a black pepper-like um, granite with like black and gray specks in it. And I really wanted to make sure that the wallpaper and the color of the room match really well with the slab of granite with, that was in. So we ended up upgrading to a white piece with a few veins in it, but really quite simple. And that cost us to, to remove our old piece and install the new piece and also take away the old piece. It was $800 all in. So definitely a really costly part of the project that you have to consider. I did consider at the very beginning painting the existing granite um, and doing a couple other options like that. But I felt at the end of the day that it just made more sense just to replace it. So we did that. Then I also obviously changed the doorknob on the bathroom door. So that is black. That now matches all of the door handles in our bathroom, or sorry, all the door handles in our house. And that was just $30. Again, I got that on Amazon and I bought a couple in bulk. So it ended up being a little bit cheaper. Then our paint, I would say probably cost about $70, $75. I ended up just needing one can of paint to paint the entire room. And then I bought a smaller can for the green paint. Then our tongue and groove, I think it was about $30, $35. We ended up getting tongue and groove for the bathroom and then also the laundry room. And I believe in the bathroom we did about one and a half sheets. So I think that that's about $30, $35. And then we just installed that ourselves. We just used liquid uh, No More Nails and attached that to the wall ourselves. And then obviously I painted it the same color as the walls. But yeah, so overall, I think the grand total of this project for me was $1,700. Um, like I said, if you end up not doing the granite piece, that would really save a lot of money and you could definitely do this project under $1,000. Same with the wallpaper. If you go with a little bit more of a budget-friendly wallpaper, then you can definitely save there. But yeah, I just wanted to share how much it costs, how we did it. Like I said, our bathroom is finally complete. If you want to go back and check out the progress, you can look back on my channel. We have a couple different videos there, but I am going to end this vlog here. In a few days, I will be posting our laundry room final video of that being complete. And again, I'll sit down and do a run through costs and everything that we had purchased for that project as well. 
as always, thank you so much for watching and follow along on our bathroom renovation. And I will catch up with you guys on the next one. Bye.